Hi, in this video we will give you some useful tips of the public transport system in Izmir in Turkey. There's not much information on the subject in English, so hopefully this video will help you when you visit Izmir. The city of Izmir has a great public transportation system and it is affordable. There are two ticket types to use the public transport there. One is called Izmirim card and the other is called Ticket 35. The Ticket 35 is a single-use only ticket. It costs 11 Turkish Lira. You just have to purchase it at the machine or from a ticket office and that is it. You cannot exit and re-enter the Ispan station and there's no free transfer to the other public transport services. The Izmirim card is a top-up reloadable card and it allows you to travel on the public transport via the train, Isbahn, metro, tram, boat and bus. You can also use the card to pay for the city bike, the cable car and the entry to the wildlife zoo. The card costs one time only 6 Turkish Lira and can be purchased from the major train stations and metro stations. We bought our cards at the ticket booth here at Alsenjak station and so you can definitely get it there. The Izmirim card needs to have the balance of the father's transportation fee on it. This seems to be 11.84 Turkish Lira. You can top it up at the ticket booth or at the machines. Travel of short distances within a 25km border cost 3 Turkish Lira. And it allows you free transfer to other means of public transport within 90 minutes. For example, when we entered the station called Selhane and we touched the card at this blue point, it charged us about 7.56 Turkish Lira. And when we got off at Alsenjak two stops later, we touched the card onto these orange colored RT Para machines and it transferred the remaining amount back to the card. When we took the ferry from Alsenjak to Bostanli Pier shortly after, it did not charge any additional amount. The touch of the orange machines was not necessary when we traveled within the city on the metro, tram, boat or bus. It was only necessary when we took the Isban, the overground train. Make sure you touch these orange machines whenever you exit the train station, otherwise it may charge you 11.84 or more. The reason being that you can travel very far distances with the train and if your travel exceeds 25 kilometers, you will be charged 0.08 Turkish Lira for every kilometer from the initial balance of the minimum 11.84 Turkish Lira. When we travel to Yenifoca, which is a beautiful place to visit, it cost around 8 or 9 Turkish Lira. Our trip to Selçuk, that is the main town to get to visit the ancient Greek site Ephesus and the village Sirince, the journey cost about 11 Turkish Lira because it is a very far away station. We will soon publish videos on our trips to Yenifoca, Sirince and Chechme, so hit subscribe if you would like to see them. A very helpful app that we used in Izmir was the Move It app. You can find it in your app store or search for it online. You can see some screenshots here of the app. It showed us the times and station or bus numbers for the public transport. It was particularly good to have as there was not much written in English. The only thing that it sometimes did not show was the tram and ferry lines. Within the city of Izmir and the outskirts there are also these mini buses called Dolmush taxis available. They are a shared taxi for regional areas. They are not as quick as the normal taxis, but they are cheaper. They cost between 3 to 5 Turkish Lira. You have to pay them in cash. We mainly used them when we were out of town 
For example, when we went from Selçuk bus station to Sirince or from Sheshmi to Alakati. In general, the standard taxi fares are also pretty good in Izmir. Turkey also has a wide system of long distance buses. These buses seem to be operated by private companies. Most of these longer distance buses start from Izmir Otogar station in Bornova. It is the main bus station. The best way to get to the main bus station is with the Dormush mini taxis. The price for the trips with these private operated buses can sometimes be not much more than the normal public transport. We noticed this fact when we traveled to Selçuk. We took the Isban train to Selçuk, which was around 11 Turkish lira. And on our way back, we noticed that there was a bus from Selçuk bus station going to Izmir Otogar station and it cost 15 Turkish lira. It was much quicker because the Isban takes longer as it stops everywhere. It is very convenient to travel by public transport in the Izmir region. In fact, during our three month stay, there were several public holidays and sometimes the public transport was free on those days. They cover up the spot where you swipe your Izmir card as you enter the station with a piece of paper. It was a very nice touch from the government to give back to the people.